The delicate style is more about fine detail and precision and sweetness and dreaminess. I will show examples with a size 6 round brush, but this time I'm using one that has a very pointy tip so I can get those nice and thin details and stems. I personally love it for this style, but you can still use any brush you like or use a bigger round brush and then a tiny one for detail. In fact, I recommend this if you're a beginner and it's hard for you to use the tip of your brush. But you can still get the delicate style with any brush, it just helps be able to make thin strokes. So we're going to use the side of our round brush to make these thicker strokes that touch in some parts and not others to hint at a floral shape. Again, we're just making up the circular shape and we're pretending there's petals on the outside. The trick is not to leave too much white space and to make your strokes random. This just takes a little bit of practice, so don't worry if you don't get it right the first time. And the shape can be very different. I mean, there's all kinds of different shapes with flowers. Next, I use a similar technique, but this time in a circular motion to add some leaves. And I add a stem with just the tip tip of my brush, very thin. Notice how sweet and delicate it feels because of the contrast of loose shapes plus a super thin and careful stem. I also vary the size of the leaves and add little dots to make it more dreamy. The delicate style also thrives on keeping it simple by leaving more white space around your flowers and shapes. If we overdo it with the delicate style, it doesn't feel as delicate. It's good to keep your bouquet smaller with this style. So next I went in with a darker color to define some parts and the wet on wet effect made it even more dreamy. But notice how I try not to overdo it, which requires me to hold back a lot with adding things. Uh, that's probably my biggest weakness is overdoing it. And we can finish here, very simple and dreamy. This next example is of a flower cluster. I'm using the tip of my brush to make tiny flower shapes with four or five petals. Notice how I vary their sizes and don't do each one exactly the same. So they all look like they're facing different directions and they just feel more organic. You can vary the shapes of the petals and the size of the petals as well. I also use the paint on my brush until it's very light because the more you paint with your brush, the less paint you have on your brush, the lighter it gets. But then I just pick up some more and again, it's dark and then goes lighter. This adds a nice variation and value as I paint my flowers. This makes it feel more dimensional. I add even more tinier, tinier flowers all around and this really helps to get that delicate feeling. And notice how the shape is again a lawn triangle. A lot, a lot of flowers look like this. I know this from study. Adding delicate stems here and there adds the delicate style. And this time I did loose doodly leaves by doing raggedy outlines and it looked pretty good together. Always make styles. Again, little dots add to the dreaminess. For this next example, we're gonna do some bell-shaped flowers with two longer strokes that just flare out on each side. Again, I'm being more neat to make it feel delicate and use the most paint at the top and let my brush gradually have less paint on the bottom for a subtle gradient. It's going from dark to light. This just adds dimension. And then I add little stems around each flower and tiny ones in between some parts and I connect it all at the bottom. I add leaves with the same color, but I use more water and less paint for a lighter look. Again, varying value helps make things look more delicate and dimensional. It also makes more contrast and whatever's darker stands out more to us. So the leaves are more in the background and the florals are standing out. You can always add more detail than this, but let me show you what happens when you do. When I do it here, it changes the look and it becomes less delicate and more whimsical. This is just a differentiation of style and I usually do add too much detail, but I just want you to know how to make it look more dainty if you like. Simple is usually better for the delicate style, but you can still be loose and whimsical. It's up to you what you prefer to do the most, just have fun with it. Now let's talk about one of my favorite styles, the loose style.